ויהי אחרי מוישור ודוד שוב מהכויסס או המולק ויישב דובי בציקלוג יומים שניים. ויהי ביום השלישי, והנה איש בו מן המחנה מימשור ובגודוב קרואים ואדומו על ראשו, ויהי בבואו אל דובי ויפול ארצו וישתוכו. ויאמר לו דובי אי מזה תבואי ויאמר לו ממחנה ישראל נמלטתי ויאמר לו דובי מה הויו הדובר הגדנו לי ויאמר אשר נסו או מן המלחומו וגם הרבה נופו מן העון ויאמוסו וגם שור ויהוינוסו בנוי מייסו ויאמר דוד אל הנער המגיד לו איך יודעתו כי מייס שור ויהוינסון בנוי ויאמר הנער המגיד נקרו נקרי סיבהר הגלבויע והנה שור נשעון על חניסוי והנה הרכב ובעלי הפרושים הדביקוהו ויפן אחרוב ויראני ויקרו אלוהי ויאמר הנני, ויאמר לי, מי אתו? ואומר אלוב עמולקי אנוכי. ויאמר אלי, עמוד נעולי ומויססני כי אחזני השובוץ, כי חוראי נפשי בי. ואומר אלוהי מויססיו כי ידעתי כי לא יחיה אחרי נפלוי, ואקח הנזר אשר על ראשוי ועץ אודו אשר על זרועי ואביהם אל אדוני נהנו. I will stop right here just to recap what happened. There's a young man comes to David who sits in Ziklod. We know David has a long history, not such a friendship with Shaul, his father-in-law in one of the Shidduchim. And this Nair is portraying a story that happened in the Milchom. He says... I came to Har Agilboa, to the mountain of Gilboa, and I stood there, and I see Shaul Amalek together with Yohannes son Bnei. Shaul at that time was stabbed. He was already stabbed. He, Ochazani HaShavotz. Radak learns Ochazani HaShavotz. He was at that time already stabbed, bleeding to death. And he said, please do me a favor and confirm my death. I want you to take a knife and kill me 100%. Because I don't want to have the pleasure of the Arelim that they should be the one called killing me. So please do so. Says the boy, I indeed took the knife and I really stabbed him again, and Shaul died. And if you don't believe me, here is the crown, and here is the jewelry that the king of Israel, Shaul, wore as a proof that he is dead. He thought he's doing a big favor to David, because Shaul and David were not friends. He's telling you, you big enemy, I contributed to his death. ויחזק דוד בבגודו, ויקרו הם, וכל האנושים אשר איתו, ויספדו, ויבכו, ויצומו עד הערב. דוד ריפס את קלוז, ואני סטארט את קולינג אפון הפאסט דיי, בגלל הדף של שאול המלך. ויאמר דוד אל הנער, המגיד לו, אי מזה אותו. תובה לקום תעיד, who are you? ויאמר, בן איש גר עמולקי אנוכי. I am a son of a man who is Amalek. Vayoymer elov David, Eich lo yoreiso lishloach yodcho l'shaches es Mashiach Hashem. Why weren't you scared to be sheleach yad to kill Mashiach Hashem? Shol was a Navi, one of the Navim, the Gemara states. Hagam Shol ba Navim. Vayikro David leechod meaneorim vayoymer gesh gaboy. David calls one of the boys and says, no, take care of him. Vayokeyu vayomois. And he kills him, right there. Vayomer elov David, domcho al roishcho. Ki picho ono becho le oimoyl, ani moisati es Mashiach Hashem. 
the death is well deserved because you were made yourself that you contributed or you clinched the death of Shaul. I would like to suggest four questions. Number one, when the kid, the boy, comes over to David, he tells him the story. He says, "When I met Shaul, Shaul asked me, who are you?" So the story started. Pasuket mi ato Shaul asked me, "Vo'imar amoleki aloichi." He already said, "I am amoleki." So why, after he tells David the story, what happened? In the current events, David again asks him, "Vanekum ta'id, who are you?" And the answer is again, "Ben Ish Ger Amaleki Aleich." Why is it repeated once again? You want to, if David doesn't believe what he said the first time, there is no riot that his identity card will be authenticated in the second time. Number two, why was this Nar Amaleki killed? Why was he killed? David says, You were a You killed, not only you killed, you killed somebody who is called Mashiach Hashem. And he says, You should know, David specifies, Your punishment is only due to the fact that you, because you killed, you said, so David kills this Nara Maleki for one reason. Because he killed Shaul Mashiach Hashem. What happened to Amalek? I came here at the end of last year. Somebody spoke about Amalek. He's yet no He's not no But certainly, in the time of David and Shaul, Amalek, the mitzvah mechia Samalek, was no hate. So why does David have to come and tell him after he verified that he said, I am Amaleki. Why does he have to come out and say, Yan, Kiorakto, Misatos, Mishiach Hashem? You are Amaleki, you have a mitzvah, Chaparayim, kill him! Again, again. Number three. There is a concept in the Gemara in Baba Kama and in the different places, the Rambam Paskins, Ein Adam Mesim Atzmoy Rosha. Although there is a halacha that does baldin, this applies only to dine mominus. But to knas and dine nefoshes, there is a halacha ein odomesim atzmei rosh. Which means a person can never walk into base and say, I was mechal Shabbos, kill me. No such a thing. The two aiding come and say, you mechal Shabbos, you deserve me. But if you were not, have, did not have any aiding to the maise, which is mechayev yumise, a person cannot be mechayev himself al pi oidas atzma. So how in the world does David kill him by oidas atzma? Oh, you said picho alamicho. You yourself admitted, confessed. Number four, the halacha is ahoyre ges atreife is potter. Halacha, that somebody who is a treifer, who is a treifer, a treifer is defined somebody that would not live 12 months, youth based chayvish. So, Heiriges treifer, the Rambam says, is chayv misel shamayim, like Heiriges agoises. There's a list of people that basically cannot kill if they commit some kind of death. One of them is treifer. So, Heiriges treifer is potter. This young boy, which will live me, me piva nuchayim, the whole mindset he's saying over. He's saying that Ochazani Ashavot says the Radak, he's already goisessing. He's mefarper. He's a goises show. He just doesn't want to have the pleasure of having, say, areilim shilchubiyad. So all this young Geram Oleike did, he basically kirev misosay of somebody who is defined al pi alochas treif. That's the case. Why in the world did David kill him? Because David had a very good, he wanted to kill this boy. He says, This is your and kill him. No, I'm killing you because you shalach the Yad and You have to understand also, Mashiach Hashem seems to be, there's no difference in killing a king or killing a simple person. A Jew is a Jew, wherever he is, whatever he is. 
but let's not discuss it right now at this specific topic that we are talking about today. <coughs> Comes along the Meir Simcha Beremes at the end of the parsha of Mechia Samolik and says like this. The MS is in the Mechilti Parshas Beshalach Shtetaze. In the end of Parshas Beshalach says the Mechilta as follows. Rabbi Loza Oimer, Nishbo Hamokoim Bekise Hakovet Shiloi, Shim Yovoyu Mikol Haumois, Sheyekablu. Anyone from anyone, any of the nations will come, you may come with him. Ula Moloku Beisoi, Loyekablu. Kodesh Bochu, it's a Moyadi Kaloshim. Kodesh Bochu was Nishbo. Kodesh Bochu swore. Not only he swore, he held out his Kisa Hakovet and said as follows. Any goy from any one of the Umwis who would like to come and convert to become a Jew, Mekablin Gayim Umasaila with no restrictions, no reservations, and we don't deprive anyone from becoming a Jew. Chutz me Amalek If Amalek will ever come in the history of Kalisol, would like to be Megayer, you're not Mekab. How do we know this? How does Rablazar Amidoi? Know this halacha that if, if somebody comes from Shenemar, Vayoyme Domi de Lana, Amy Zay Ato, Vayoyme Ben Ish Gera Moleki Alech. Says, it says that when this young boy came, he asked him, Who are you? He says, I'm the son of Gera Moleki. Nizkar David, Beoisa Shom, Mashenema, Lomisha Rabbeinu, Miola Mikolom is Boilo Mizgai Shekablu, and Bezer and Loyakablu. Miad. It seems to the Mechil, the Machzach Nishvisendik, it says he came and he was a Moleki and he says, I'm a Gear, and he says, Ain't the Kavan Gainim a Molek. David, remember that moment he was contemplating and debating what to do with this boy. But in the second he said that I'm a Moleki, David reminded himself of the Halacha. Therefore, he. Killed him right away, Dom Choron. Which seems to be a bit ambiguous because if we read the Pesukim up there, Shtek Nishkivot, he killed him as Amoleki, Shebefeyush, the Post of Mikra Molek, Dibur Akosuf, that the killing of this Na Amoleki was due to the fact, Shalachta Yod Mashiach Hashem. And what in the world does it say here in the Mechil? Zokhtu Be Simcha, beautiful word. The truth of the matter, that a Yid is not in the Herag. But a goy is the heir of Boidas Atzmai. Why? You'll ask me why. I'll tell you why. Says the Chinuch. Because the reason why a person can't come to Basin and say a Dvar Resha about himself, ain't not the Basin Matsumi Rosho, the Gemara says in Sanhedrin and Daftes because Adam Koroiv Etzel Atzmai. Every person is related to himself. And there's a psul kuva. So a koreh cannot be made at himself. There's no greater relative of a person than the person himself. However, benoyach, the halacha is, by any goy, a koreh is not possible aides. So therefore, a benoyach is neherag beoidoas atzim. Now, when this young man came, he said, Amaleki, David was contemplating what kind of Amaleki you are. You are Maleki, I'm Maleki, or you Gera Maleki. What do you do? He answers the second time, unlike the first time, I'm not a Maleki, I'm Maleki, but I'm Gera Amaleki. Which means I made Gerus as an Amaleki. Nizkar David Bereis Hashor, David reminded himself at that moment, Therefore, his gerus is null and void. He is not indeed a ger, he's a guy, because he may come and get him a mole. That's the case, once he's a guy, a guy is neherak boidas atzme because a korev is kosher laidus by a guy. And furthermore, a hoireg es atreife, goy shehoag es atreife, the alochi is chayev misen. There is no the distinction between a bar kayomo and a treifo, is only a distinction said by Yisroel. By a guy, even if he kills a tray for somebody that will not survive 12 months, guy has other stipulations to the halacha of Leisir Tzach said by Zion Mitzvah's Bnei Noyach. Therefore, he tells them, 
Ben ish ger amolek he dovet does niska she em kabel ger ba amolek, resulting in that he is not a real Jew. If he's not a real Jew, he's a guy. If he's a guy, he's neherak boy do asatzmoi. Therefore, picha alcha bechok yerakdes mishiach Hashem. Therefore, you're resulting in you well deserve your death as a roitzayach even boy do asatzmoi. And even though under the circumstances you were. <coughs> Killing somebody who had an infiltration. So this is a very simple kedal koy bakodesh. I elaborated a little bit in two lines. He says it, and I simplified and served you on a golden platter the holy words of a meisim. However, notwithstanding the above, they asked me to speak about a topic. They always one the one who is arranging it is looking for something catchy, maybe to get a bigger crowd. <laughs> so he thinks if the title would be a more of an interesting title, there will be more of an oilom to come. But there is a Gemara, a fascinating Gemara, Sai in Masecha Sanedrin in Perik Chelek in Daf Tzadik Vova Mudbeis, and Sai in Perik Hanizokin in Git in Daf Nunzai. The Gemara says as follows, listen to that. Tono Rabono, Naamon, the Sar Tzva Arom Geil Toisho Hoyo, Nevuzaradan Geil Tzedek Hoyo, Mibnei Bonov Shel Sisro Limdu Toiro Bi Yerushalayim. Listen to this. Mibnei Bonov Shel Sancheiriv Limdu Toiro Barabi, Umaniu Shmai Vav Talion, Mibnei Bonov Shel Homan Lomdu Toiro Bi Vnei Brak. From the eight o'clock, from Hamon, long the third day. Who is this Bnei Baruch Shel Hamon? <coughs> There's a big controversy amongst the Gersoyas in several sources of early manuscripts. Who is this Bnei Baruch Shel Hamon? Mora seems to be saying that in Gittin that Rabbi Kiva was Bnei Baruch Shel Sisra who taught Torah in Yerushalayim. In Bnei Baruch Shel Hamon is Rav Shmuel Bar Sheilas. However. He who knows history and geography knows that it's not a tochen because Rabbi Shmuel Bar Shalai is living in Yerushalayim and Rabbi Kiva is the one who lived in Bnei Brak. And indeed, in some early Rishayim, the gear is the other way around that Bnei Bono of Shalhom and Londu Torah be Bnei Brak. This is Rabbi Kiva. We know Rabbi Kiva, Maise by Rabbi Kiva, everybody's going to read in the Agoda. Rabbi Kiva is a citizen of Bnei Brak. And Rabbi Kiva is an Enakul from Ben Bono of Shalhom and Amosh. And he, long to tell you, but never come in on the Gordon Kabaki, the Gorman office tells us the Rabbi Kiva, Reuya Toyo Shetimosa, the Ish Echo, the Kiva Ben Yosef Shmoy. It was great, Moshe Rabbeinu says, Why are you giving me Toyo? Give the Toyo through Rabbi Kiva. And Rabbi Kiva is a Enekul, that's the Shalom Aleichem. Rabbi Kiva, Manekum Tahid, and then when the Zayd is Manishtanta. So in London, every second person has been a Eidekut from Neyam El Melech, from the Mezheb Uja, from the Bnei Soscha, from the Chsam Soifer. I've heard it all. Rabbi Kiva says, Very good, Vendor Zayde. Homo ben Andoser, ha Agogi, Tzoyed, Kol HaYehudim. Dosi, Vendor Zayde for Rabbi Kiva. The question is, how in the world does Homo Narosha have an Eidekut Rabbi Kiva? Homo was an Eidekut 21 generations to east of. Anybody who wants the source, we may speak about it on spare time. 21, and we know the name in each and every one of them, straight out from Haman to Esau. Elifa, Zamolik, Agog, the whole bunch as appears in Perik to Gim Masecha Seifri with the Mishnah, who are, what's the Yichas of Haman? So, Bakiva is a Enoch of Esau, the Elter Elter Zayde, and insufficient of Veg is the Enoch of Haman. The problem is, and so is a problem which is a Bachsam Seifer and the Yehudo. Gdoyel of the Toivim, if Nishba Kadish Bochu Bekisa Kovach Shiloi, Shein the Kabul Geirim, Me Amolek, how in the world does Homan, who is Amoleki, have an Enoko, not only an Enoko, but he's sitting in Bnei Brak, Marbitz Toiro Barak? This is the question which I would like to discuss. I only have 10 minutes to go. So let's try to wrap it up. In the Mitzvah of Mechia Samolik, we find the fundamental machloikis between the Rambam and Rashi. Shitas HaRambam, that the entire Mitzvah of Mechia Samolik is only to kill mankind. Zohar Adnekev. 
Nothing more. Rashi at the end of Parshas Kiseise says, Emche Zecher Amolek, Timche Zecher Amolek, Meish Ad Isho, Meoyleil Ad Yoinek, Mishoyer Atze, Shitas Rashi, the Demitzvah Mechias Amolek, is a mitzvah said not only for mankind, but also of animals of Amolek. The source of Rashi is really the same Mechilta. And I quote, the Mechilta says, Rabbi Lezer Amoidoy, Rabbi Lezer Amoidoy went wild when he came to Amolek. And 42 years ago, I used to have a chavrusa, his name is Arav Shimon Moshe Diskin. I was a young boy, he was a Rosh Hashiva in Kolpe Yeshiva. And going to Elam, he wrote a Sefer Masa Samel. And I've heard from him as follows What does it mean, Nin Vanechel Amolik? Amolik is Amolik. Amolik is a genetic mutation. You can't get rid of it. So what is Nim Vanechel Lamolik? If there's eight, there's Amolik, the Enoch is Echet Amolik. Where is the Amolik of the Enoch? What's Nim Vanechel? Weiter, what is the punchline of Shaloyem Ru Gomel Shal Amolik? Leoniach Nim Vanechel Lamolik, Shaloyem Ru Gomel Shal Amolik. How do you read this? And the Natsiv is somewhat puzzled by this comparison of the Mechilte. <coughs> he says as follows. We know there's a sugya sagmog in Kiddushin of Samach Zayin on Mut Beis, Shtet in Igmore, Legabe de Din, for the Sechaya called Neshama Besayin Umis. There is a halacha that the Zayin Umis is a din of the Sechaya called Neshama. Other Umis, there is no din. The question the Gemara is talking about a Kenyan of Evet Knaini, says the Gemara that the Umis Oyle Chachar Azor, meaning if a person is a Zohar, if a person is, the father is the Adoimi, let's say, and the mother is a Mitzris, what is the son? Adoimi. If the father is a Mitzri and the mother is Zion Amomin, Prizi Yevusi, he's a Mitzri. Vice versa, if the father is Zion Amos, Girgoshi, Prizi Yevusi, and the mother is Mitzris, he gets this genetic mutation. Although in Bayidin, we know we go boss of the mother, by a goyim, when there's a mixed marriage between two umois, hoylech achar hazoch. That's the Now, what happens if a daughter of a molek, a molek had 50% boys and girls, is not different statistically than any other part of the population. What happened to Einikul from a molek, who is a, not, his father is, happens to be an adoimi, his father happens to be a mitzri, the father happens to be a Moyavi, Amoini, and his mother is from Amolek. Is there a mitzvah mechia Samolek or not? So I got news for you. The Rambam is Sefer Moyer and the says as follows. The Rambam says, why in the world is precious Vaishlach full of the Eniklach of Esau got married and this, aluf this, aluf that? Who cares? Like, why is it? What important does it have? So let me read the Rambam. Omnum sipu mishpechois bnei seir veyachsom umipnei mitzvah Perek the reason why the Torah specifies the Yichus of Esau is because Esau intermarried within the family. And they married into cousins. So some of the Enikach, you have to know, but only the branch, Ben Achar Ben, from Esau, from Eliphaz, there is a Mitzvah Mechia Samolok in generations to come. But any other branch which came from a daughter, Shtein Ramam Nishtoki Mitzvah Mechia Samolok. Why? Because Be'umos Elechach HaRazochor, at that time, if the mitzvah was only on this zera. There is no, the mother, even if the mother comes from Amolik, from Eliphaz, it doesn't come. Rashi learns, no. Rashi learns that the same thing is a halacha to kill the behemoth of Amolik. A behemoth doesn't have any yichus. You're not allowed to leave a tree. You have a palm tree, a beautiful tree, it says, Dekel, Zeshel, Amolik, eradicate. 
says the Mechilte, the Ram doesn't pass like this Mechilte, but Rashi does. Shelo yon nishba, kodesh bochu, shelo yon lo nim vadechel la amolek. Nim vadechel is indeed not amolek. Because in Hilchas Yuchsim, be umas oda chacha azokher, he is now a dumi, he is a mitzri, he is whatever he is. Shelo yon lo gomel shel amolek. But besides the mitzvah of Timches, zer amolek. There is a mitzvah to kill zecher amolek, to eradicate any memory, not to perpetuate the name of Amalek, <coughs> one must kill not only Amalek, who is Amaleki in his identity, in his yichus, in yichus yuchsin, but also there is Amalek, which is an Amalek mitzad, the name. We made as follows. Bnei Bonov shel homon lom dutoyer b'bnei brak. You know what the Lugenis and Ibishi says? I got three minutes to go and I have to wrap it up. I believe time is of the essence. Rabbi Yenison Ibishitz comes alone and says that Homer, the reason why Shoal did not kill Agog mm-hmm. because his mother was from Amalek, not his father, which is contradicting to this Masecha Seifim, Zokhto Rabbi Yenison Ibishitz, Venire, that Agog Melech Amalek, the Zayde from Homer, was a halacha of Ben Tachas Ein. He was a son of a daughter. He wasn't a Zerah Amor of Ben Achaben. He was Bomino Ein. As I state in Pirush, Ahavas Yenison, whoever has the Sefer, and he comes along and says, Why did Shoal not kill? David held that he's really not a Molech. Why? Because his mother is for a Molech, not his father. That's why he did not kill him. As I state in Rabbi Yenison, however, the halacha we say the Machlech is the Rashi and the Rambam. If there is a mitzvah to kill Zecher Amolek and not Zerah I would like to suggest as follows. What is the difference, according to Rashi, that one must kill the Amolek, not only Enekol Mitzad Ho'av, who is Zerah Amolek, but also somebody that in Hilchus Yuchsin is Amolek Mitzad Ein, who is Zecher Amolek. I would like to suggest the following. This halach of Ein Mekabun Geirim Me'amolek, Nishba Kodesh Baruch Hu, is only beyachas to someone who is Amoleki Ben Achaben from Amolek. However, somebody who is by Zilchus Yichus, not Amoleki, but is only being eradicated, being that he is associated with Amolek as part of Zechra Amolek, that person could be Megar. Why? Sheyla Chilik of Havos. The reason why you kill an Einikel, you know, the Baruch Bell, was a Shiva of Kamenitz, came back from a Prime Brisker. And they asked him, What did you learn by a Prime? What did you learn by a Prime? So he says, The Rebbe of Gizok, listen to this. It's two shtick of terror from a Prime in Sefer, Sayyid Hilchus Macholus Asuras, and Sayyid Hilchus Isuri Bia by Kehuna. The Rebbe flex Jogun, I will say it in Yiddish because I don't want to kill it away, and I will translate <laughs> simultaneously. The Rebbe Fekzogen has a fair, is a fair, Valer is a fair, Nish Valer Kumpf is a fair. Meaning, and he said the same thing, a Kohen, forget about a fair, because we're talking about Yetzim and Eser, something you could easier relate to. A Kohen is a Kohen, not because he comes from a Kohen, but rather because he is a Kohen. There is no reason, the fact that your father was a Kohen does not make you a Kohen. There is a Mishpach has Kehune, a Shemot Kehune. For the very same reason that your father is a Kohen, you are a Kohen. He's no greater Kohen than you. If you weren't the son of your father, you would have never been Misyaches to Shemot Kehune to be called a Kohen as a Kohen. But today, that you are a son of your father, this title, this Yichos of Kehune is because you by yourself are a Kohen, just like your father is a Kohen. As a fact of Chaim Zogon, he says, Big enough Kehunes, is Nafkemin is signed in this Yuchsin, and Nafkemin is in Gaitzmin, and also, the Rabbi Macholus, the Asuras, Afer is Afer, Vale is Afer, Nish Vale Kumf and Afer. And this is a fascinating whole sugi in Bukhiris, the Vog Zayn and Ches, the Ain Tan Mogum Mar. Email! When somebody goes to kill the Enekel for Amalek, who is Amaleki in Yilchus Yuchsin, indeed, a Fleishike Zaftike Amalek! He's going to kill him. So he's killing that. He's not killing the Zayd Amalek. He's killing a member of the tribe. Any member of the club is do Elach Fadint. You kill him because he's Amaleki. So you cannot be Megayer somebody who is Amalek Medina Amalek. 
But when you are not allowed to kill, when you're supposed to eradicate the Seychelles, what are you doing? You say, the Amalek from the Amal, the Elta, Elta Zayn is the Chalda Sadova, the Elta Zayn the Amalek, you are in essence eradicating the residual from the Zaycher of the Zayn the Amalek. You're not killing today's Amalek, he doesn't have the essence, any identity in essence of Amalek. So what you're doing is, you say, Never ever forget the Zayda Amalek because if you're going to leave a tree or an animal or in essence, according to Rashi, an animal who is mean habas, you are leaving a Zaycher for the Zayda Amalek. However, Gerus is a very, very fantastic phenomenon. Gerus is something that Gershon is Gaia, Kekotmishanayladom. So he loses his entire kirva, he loses his entire name. Mm. In the second you Megayer, you're no longer Zecher Amalek because you're newborn. If you are Amalek, so then you remain Amalek because you are Amalek. You cannot take off this genetic mutation. But if in Yichus you are, then the Geirus helps. The reason why Bnei Banov Shel Homo Lomdu Torah B'Vnei Brak this Bnei Brake Amalekim are indeed Eniklach of Homon. And Homon, this is not my Shtikl Torah, state Homon was an Enikl of Agog. Homon ben Amdose Ho Agogi. And Agog was an Enikl from Amalek. Let's go back through the chain of generations through the mother. Being that he was through the mother, he is the one that the Geiris is very well accepted. I would like just to end off with a Mint, one more minute. You know, this week we had Purim Kotten. And I got news for you and for the previous speaker as well. The nace of Purim happened, according to most Rishayim, in Eshanam Uberis. <coughs> the nace of Purim happened in Odorisha, not in Odorisha. I got news for you. The nace of Purim happened in Odorisha, not in Odorisha. Again, on the spare time, I'm willing to elaborate. The reason, the Gemara asks Akasha, maybe we should make Purim in Adarisha? The Gemara says the only reason why they were Kriveya and Mordechai in Adarashen is because you have to be Masmich Geulah, the Geulah of Pesach. But otherwise, there is. It says in the Shulchan Aruch, and I'm always fascinated when I come here to Torah Way, how beautiful it is to start off the day with a Torah Way. Okay. Some people don't come because they have a road away, not a Torah away. But most of the people who are here are coming for the, to start the day with a Torah away. You know, it says in Shulchan Aruch, the last seif in Shulchan Aruch Erechaim, that you have to make a mishte v'simche in Purim Kotten as well. Why, says the Ramah? Because it says a pasuk, v'toiv leiv mishte tomi. Toiv leiv mishte tomi. Therefore, you're supposed to be Marba Besud. So this week, we passed Purim Kotten, Shushan Purim Kotten, you're supposed to be Marba Besud. I'll tell you Pshat. Rabbi Kiveger says Pshat. Rabbi Kiveger says as follows. Listen to this. Says Rabbi Kiveger, the Mishnah says, Ein ben Ado Rishon la'ado Sheni, Elo, Kiyas HaMegil Matanas Levyen. Comes along with more, it says, Holy Inyan Hesper Betainis, Zevaz HaShovim. With more, it doesn't say, Holy Inyan Suda Vemish Tezevaz HaShovim. But if you read the Mishnah at face value, those who learn the Mishnah a day only and they don't read the Gemara, and anything else, there is no difference, no distinction. Zoktor Kivega, this is Nishkan Chassidi Shavot, of Kivega Zavot. Zoktor Kivega, the Gemara in Sanhedrin, the Tzadik of Bey says as follows. Says the Gemara, I'm sorry, the Kuf of Bey says as follows. Call Yemei Oni Roim. All the life of the Oni are bad. The Toif Lev Mishter told me, Omar of Zeir, my Dixiv, call Yemei Oni Roim, Elu Bale Gemara. Says Rashi, you learned more, you have bad days, you can't understand, it's teeth, it's long. Toif Lev Mishter told me, is Bale Mishnah, those who only learn a Mishnah. Because the Mishnah, says Rashi, it's easy, no Yachlil Moit. Says Rabbi Kiva Eger, whoever reads the Mishnah in Benadarish and Lado Sheni Elo, 
Matanas lev yainim and kriyas hamegila reads that anything else is shavim. Says the Ramah, v'toiv lev mishne tamid. For this balay mishne, v'toiv lev mishne tamid, you should know, you should drink always. The Shulchan Aruch begins with Shivisi Hashem Menegdi Tomid and ends off with Toiv Lev Mishte Tomid. A bracha here to the Kehila, they should be take. Start the day with Shivisi Hashem Menegdi Tomid and end off always with Toiv Lev Mishte Tomid. <laughs>